What do you want me to buy? Everything. Uh, so what? I'll buy it all because I've got gas! <laughs> you are <laughs> the king of gas. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in this absolutely beautiful location. I'm back on the Copper Coast and I haven't been here actually for a number of years, but I decided to venture down here with my buddy, Dermot O'Donovan. He's been here once before, but he came here at completely the wrong time when it was low tide. So it was nothing really of interest to photograph, but we're here now as the tide is coming in. And as you can see behind me here, you've got a multitude of stacks. And then you also have some lovely foreground interests as well here that is gonna give some nice shots from today. So I'm going to be taking some seascape shots today. I'm gonna to take some movement to the water around these areas here in here, first of all. I'll get set up and uh, yeah, I'll check back in. I'll show you exactly what I'm shooting then for my first composition from today. Now, something I've said many, many times before is that you're not a seascape photographer unless you get wet. If you're not getting wet, then you're just a coastal photographer. And the first photograph that I took, getting down low here, and the tide is coming in, I got wet. But, thank... <laughs> you said you didn't get wet! Thanks, dear, but, uh, And I got wet. And now, mind you, my boots are waterproof, but the water came slightly over the top of my boots, so I'm gonna get a small bit wet. But I think I nailed it, actually, on my first shot. Now I took a number of different photographs there, kept taking different uh, shutters and such like that as the wave was coming in and coming out. But I do think the very first one that I got is the one that I'm happy with. So yeah, a good aim, good omen and a good start to the day. So now we're going to find a couple more compositions here as the tide will continue to come in around us. There's not many waves, but the action that I am getting is proving to be very, very nice actually here for a long exposure shot. Now, the sun as well is quite bright and that's actually helping me. So what I've done is I've put on my 10 stop filter. I've also got a 0.9 ND grad just to contain the brightness in the sky that's there. And I'm going for a 30 second exposure. And what that is doing is it's smoothing out all of the water and you're getting some lovely glistens as well off the rock as the sunlight then will bounce off of them while they're wet from the incoming waves. I've taken a portrait orientation shot and I've also taken a landscape orientation shot. Both of them I like, but I'm not quite sure which one I like. I'll know obviously when I get back to base. But from this one composition, I've managed to get a couple of different types of shots. A half a second shot, like my normal preferred uh, time as Dermot nearly fell there behind you. Um, and then the two 30 second shots as well, but yeah, this small, simple area, I think it's lovely. The tide is coming in, so I have to be careful, obviously, because the water is going to come in around me. But I'm looking over here, and I think there might be one more composition for me to get. So yeah, hopefully I get that shot, and we'll go over here next.
again, I just got soaked, but I do think it was worth it. I had a photograph here of this gully, as you can see, as the water's coming out here between this rock and this stack, and then the other stack as well in the distance. And I'm still going for my long exposure, and I think it's actually a really, really nice shot because what I've framed it up here is you've got this leading line, which is the water moving out, framed by the two rocks as well. And with that then smoothing completely out, it is a very, very nice shot. Now, settings wise, actually, uh, at the moment here, I am shooting at 30 seconds ISO 100, and I'm at F8 with my 0.9 and also with my uh, 10 stop. And I also have my polarizer on as well to help me be able to get as long as I possibly can for that exposure. But I think, yeah, again, I'm only 20 feet, 20 feet from where I would have started in the first place, and already I've gotten a number of different type of shots. I got one other one as well on the other side of the stack here um, with some seaweed that's on top of some rocks that are there. Now, with the sun that's coming out, it is quite harsh, but you can still take your shots as well during this time, just being creative with your composition and also be creative with your filters. This place is absolutely full of compositions and for me for seascape it's absolutely ideal now i still continuing actually to do some long exposures because i do like the look and feel of what the image is actually giving me and in the distance here you've got a stack at the very end of the cove here and it's been lit up nicely as well by the sun so i think that's actually going to be nice within the image because we're in shade here and then you've got the light over here but because of the longer exposure it's going to smooth all of this water out here but yet i'm still going to have some detail and i'm framing the shot actually with a couple of rocks that are here then i've got a stack a stack and then i've got the big stack in the distance and a couple of smaller stacks as well uh, between me and that and the settings again at the moment are f8 so i'm still exactly the same at 30 seconds in iso 100 and the same filters as well are being in use but yeah i mean look it's a tiny area but already i've gotten so many shots it's an incredible spot uh, to come visit and it's full of these stacks all along the coast and on a day like this when i have, have got a harsh light i didn't think i was going to get some nice shots also with small movement within the waves but boy was i wrong Now I saw Dermot climb up here at the very beginning of his uh, vlog and I thought he was a bit mad but I said I'd come up for a look and actually it's quite nice because what I can see here is more of the cove actually that's sweeping around here in the distance. I still have the light as well on the stack that's in the distance and I'm also going for another long exposure shot. This here will get me this stack the other stack that's here and then the far stack as well which will be prominent in the end of the scene and I'm actually pointing my camera down because I want to get as much as I can of the water movement and not the sky but yeah again more shots here in such a small area higher vantage point maybe it'll work out maybe it won't I don't know we'll see when I get to post but I'll give you a look at the shot anyway next
That certainly was a lot of fun in a very, very small area. I think I got a multitude of different types of shots, mainly long exposure, but that's okay based on the conditions, like I would have said, that I was dealing with. I'm going to finish up this episode now. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, from me and from Dermot, Schlangefall. Like